All right, welcome back. So this is the AR codes that were found last night by me and Onvar. Um, these allow Pac-Man to, firstly, rev roll infinitely, which means he will not never lose momentum, but he will keep his timer for the rev roll to be over one, which allows this to um, roll infinitely, but you do lose speed if you bonk on things. So let me show that off real quick. Going into Pack Village, um, I could show here. Let me show off a. Uh, I mean, you could easily tell the difference, but here, let me show off what a normal rev roll looks like and how long it lasts for. It lasts for that about that long. I can get from Professor Pack to the, the gate, but with this on, he just he just goes. Here, let me let me try that again. He just fucking goes and never ends. So yeah, that's one of them. Uh, we found the actual timer that the game uses to figure out how long a rev roll should last for, and we just keep that value above zero, uh, and it'll just go forever. We have it set to, I think, specifically... Um, let me see what I have it set to currently. I believe that it is set to... Uh, two. We have it set to two right now, which doesn't matter, but that's what it's set to. And then the other code we have allows us to uh, instantly get full rev roll speed. So normally, here, let me just turn off the infinite rev roll timer so you can see. Normally you would um, uh, have to charge a full rev roll, because if you don't, oh, I have it off. <laughs> um, normally if you don't, um, you get a shorter rev roll, like this. But with the infinite, I'm sorry, the infinite, the instant rev roll, you just get the full rev roll with a single a pr uh, B press. So, yeah. And in combination with the infinite rev roll, you can just infinitely and instantly rev roll at max speed forever if you don't hit anything. But that's not all. Um, we actually found one other thing that is awesome to use. Um, basically, we found the values, uh, like I showed off in the last video, we found the values for the um, Chrome Ball and how to activate it without actually getting a Chrome Ball. So to do that, we had to find the Smoothie Active uh, Integer. I think it's a float, actually, but we had to find that number. We had to find the Smoothie Type and the Smoothie Timer. Um, and also, for some reason, if you do it like this, the game actually doesn't give Pac-Man, one, the Chrome Ball texture, and two, it doesn't give him the invincibility with the Chrome Ball. So I actually had to code that in myself um, to be able to get that to work. But now you basically have the Chrome Ball in a more overpowered state. So if I turn on this code, I also set it up to where if you press X, it turns on the code. If you press Y, it turns off the code. Um, so if you press X, notice how Pac-Man's um, his trail is now um, uh, gray instead of the normal yellow. This means Pac-Man has the Chrome Ball abilities on top of, you know, the sound effects. Um, but it's not actually showing his texture for some reason, um, which we're still trying to figure that out, but I uh, thought I'd show this off anyway. But yeah, you can also have, uh, you also have the rev roll, not the rev roll, the, uh, the, the, um, ah, collision, sorry. Uh, you have the extra bounciness of the rev roll, uh, in a, uh, in a Chrome Ball. So if I turn on the in infinite rev roll, um, code, you can see that Pac-Man is way more bouncy than normal, which is uh, due to the Chrome Ball mechanics. So yeah, these are all the error codes that we found that I thought would be very interesting. Uh, we're still looking for some other ones, but uh, these are the main ones that we found that actually work and are useful, in a sense. So yeah, all of these will be in the description. Uh, I will uh, show what code does what and have all the lines of code or anything. If something's not working, uh, please let me know and I'll uh, try to fix it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, you have a good rest of your day. Bye!